I'm a huge fan of the Super Smash Bros series, like many people. And there are a lot of different modes in this game. Target Smash, Home Run Contest, and Multiman, which I will talk about later. But this time, I'm talking about the coin minigames. Not many people talk about this mode, and I completely forgot about them until I started doing research for the other modes. In today's episode of Games and Games, we are going to talk about the coin minigames in the Super Smash Bros series. Melee was the first one to introduce this mode, and they had the simplest one, Lottery. It's basically one of those capsule machines, but this one unlocks trophies. It also lets you put up to 20 coins for one capsule, and the more coins you put in, the higher chance of getting a new trophy. There isn't much to say about this one, it's a game of chance. Brawl has Coin Launcher, which has the look of a classic pinball machine, but plays like Space Invader. You are this little launcher that shoots coins at different enemies to destroy and trophies to earn. There are 6 different enemies in the game, 4 of them are like regular enemies that come in waves and destroying the group might give a player stickers or more coins. The other two are a little bit different. The ball with the purple X cannot be destroyed and it's just there to block shots. The missile if it hits you will take away coins and lower your meter. To build up the meter, the player just has to destroy enemies. And once it fills up, the player goes into a frenzy mode to launch coins like crazy. In the bottom left corner, you're going to see a counter that shows how many coins a player has left. That is because the coins are a player's ammunition. And once they run out, they can't play anymore. This is the reason the game is slow. To help the player conserve coins and make it feel like every shot is meaningful. It's fun for the first minute or so, but then it gets boring. Enemy patterns become repetitive and the gameplay is slow. Although this is a mode that was made to be played once in a blue moon because of the coin mechanic. The Wii U and 3DS, or Smash 4, has Trophy Rush. In Trophy Rush, you pick a character and try to break the wooden or tougher stone crates which will fill up the meter. Once the meter fills up, it starts to rain hexagons. That once broken will give the player coins, trophy, or custom parts. To help you fill up the meter faster, there is a crate when broken fills up a huge amount of the meter. But the game has things to stop you. There is a bomb crate that explodes after a while, and a thing that shoots a directional explosion. So you think, oh man, as well just stay in one spot and punch. Well, they made a lightning ball appear to hit you if you stay in one place for too long. And they made the floor disappear if you let the crate pile up for too long. If a player falls off screen, they will start on a clean slate and will lose time. This mode is time based and depending how much money you put in, depends how long you get to play it. The only reason to play these modes is to get trophies, stickers or custom parts faster to finish a collection. Trophies are just a collectible but they have descriptions on them which give neat information. The stickers can be used to power up characters in the subspace emissary mode. And custom parts let you switch a character's special move. Now I'm curious as to what the new coin minigame will be in the new Smash Brothers. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. And as always my lovely patients, I thank you so much for watching and tune in next time.